Hi everyone, welcome to my cheesy kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a gujia with a twist. It's going to be made with some chocolate chips, some desiccated coconut cheese, and some hint of chili powder. A gujia with definitely a twist. Imagine a gooey melted cheese and chocolate, which is going to be deep fried, and then you have this delicious gujia. Well, it's going to be absolutely great for your festive parties like Diwali, Holi, or even Raksha Bandhan, or simply when you want to have a delicious treat at home. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and I'll show you how to make this. So the first step is to grate our Britannia cheese block. So let me get started with that. So if ever you're looking to actually have a dish that you are making and you want a melt in the mouth texture, then this Britannia cheese block is the cheese that you have to use because it melts so beautifully and the flavor and taste from the cheddar is absolutely delicious. And this particular cheese block which I'm going to be adding and combining it along with some chocolate chips and uh, coconut, um, you will notice how beautiful it tastes. Notice the beautiful shavings that come out of this cheese block, it's something that I love as well. So now that I have my cheese grated, I'm going to go ahead and make the gujia mixture which is going to have some chocolate chips and desiccated coconut. So we'll go ahead and add in the chocolate chips and our desiccated coconut and some chili powder. Chili and chocolate make a great combination. Adding chili powder to the chocolate gives a great taste as well. If you want, you can also add a pinch of sea salt to give it that added taste. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up and our gujia filling is ready. It's as simple as that. All you need is some cheese, some dry desiccated coconuts and some chocolate chips. So now that I've combined this, I'm going to show you how to make the dough for the gujia. And that's really simple as well. And then fill it up with this chocolate mixture. So to make the dough, I'm going to go ahead and add flour into my mixing bowl. And we'll sprinkle some salt. We'll add in our ghee. So I'm going to combine it until it becomes coarse crumbs and add little water at a time and make a nice firm and smooth dough. So now that it, we have a coarse crumb texture, I'm going to go ahead and add in some water and make a smooth and firm dough and keep adding little at a time until the dough comes together. All right, so the dough has come together beautifully and it's not sticky at all, it's nice and smooth and ensure that you knead it for a good four to five minutes so it becomes really smooth. Now my next step is to um, divide it into balls, shape it into round circles and then fill it with the gujia mixture. So to make the gujia, I've taken a small lemon sized portion of the dough. I'm gonna dust it in a little bit of flour and roll it to, into a small circle. And now once we have a small circle, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this chocolate chip cheese and coconut mixture into the center. I'm gonna fold it and bring the edges together. And ensure that there are no air pockets inside, okay? And place it down on the surface, press it in nicely. And then after that, you can shape it using a fork by giving these beautiful ridges at the end. That's it. So our gujia is ready and I'm going to make a few more just like this and then we'll deep fry them. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these gujias into my preheated oil and deep fry them until they're nice and crisp and golden brown. So I've been deep frying these gujias on low to medium heat. Ensure that they are cook on low heat so that they get browned evenly. Notice the golden brown texture and that's exactly how we want it. That's it, I'm going to go ahead and drain it out of oil and I'm ready to serve these gujias. Alright, that's it. Our gujias are ready to be served hot crisp out of the oil and you'll have a melty cheese and chocolatey gujia inside. Do give this recipe a try. I'm sure your friends and family would love it for the festive seasons that's going to come up. And when you do, don't forget to share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. We'd love to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.